So hey what's up everybody in this video we're going to be talking about how to import your 3D model into ASD. So I've been making a professional 3GS course if you want to enroll that then feel free to do that because you'll be learning how to you know you'll be learning how to import your 3D models and how to make your website looks more interactive than any other okay. So you can enroll that thing and you can check that course link in my description just uh, feel free to do that and the course is still under construction so enroll that and learn that uh, like daily basis okay so that you'll uh, be able to complete that within the time okay that's fine uh, so in this video we're going to be importing a uh, basic 3d model okay so i had uh, found this 3d model in the in this sketchfab website so it's just pretty cool over here i got this audi r8 uh, 3d model and it looks perfect uh, let's see use this 3d model in order to import this uh, to our scene okay that's pretty simple let me tell you how and for that you can download this 3d model over here just click on download and here you'll be finding a lot of versions okay so we'll be using glb version just uh, feel free to download that and it is packed with textures okay so you can go for that thing and if you want uh, less texture size you can go for this as well but for now I'll just choose this one and let's download this one okay so here uh, this is my webpack module okay so I just uh, open that up and here I can find the static folder right so just open that and I'll paste my 3d model over here okay so this is called or GLB all right so if I open up my blender you can see the 3d model right so if I switch this to uh, render mode by pressing Z and just clicking on the render thing here you can see that uh, we can find its textures and everything is uh, already pre-built right so that's because uh, we had downloaded the 3d model along with the textures so that's why the file size is around 18 MB I guess yeah 18.9 MB so we can simply uh, you know we can simply import that uh, 3d model into our scene okay so before that you know i'm just using this normal webpack version and here i just installed three js so we're going to be installing all these dependencies so i'll just open up my terminal and i'll just install all those things using npm install okay after installing i'll just run this file let's do that by using npm run there So before getting into JavaScript, I just head over to the HTML and here you can see that we have just imported the title and I just created the body over here and we're going to be uh, creating an canvas okay so you can actually do that by using canvas so just create a class name called webgl that's fine and now I just head over to the style.css and here we're going to be doing some a uh, couple of changes okay so let me tell you why we are doing that before that um, you can always enroll uh, 3JS course just feel free to do that so I'll assure that you'll learn a lot of different things in that course that's fine now here I'm going to be setting my margin over here I'll just set my margin to 0 and I'll just set the padding to 0 then I'm going to be creating an HTML body over here and I'll just set the overflow to hidden all right and here we'll be using that uh, canvas which is webgl here we got the canvas right so we're gonna be using this thing webgl and here I just fix the position position is equal to fixed and here I just set the top value to zero JSM, you know, we got all the methods, so we'll be using this thing in our um, script.js. Okay, 
so I'll just close this up so inside JavaScript you know I just already imported the orbit controls from 3 slash example slash JSM slash controls slash orbit controls which is from our dependency okay and I had just imported tracker loaders and the GLDF loaders from the loaders of that uh, 3JS dependency okay and I had just created the canvas uh, so using the query selector I just selected my canvas from the HTML okay and I had just declared the sizes over here and I have created a scene and a camera and you know I just added some double click thing over here and also I just used an you know I'm just used an animate method over here in order to request the animation frame and now uh, all those things are from the previous module so if you are uh, watching this on YouTube then uh, this is for the you know this is for the 3 js course and you'll be seeing this on YouTube as well because you know it's just a free version and you can always check that out so feel free to enroll in our professional 3 js course okay and now we're going to be adding the you know we're going to be adding the 3d model into our scene it's that simple let me tell you how first let me create an tracker loader and over here let's just create a new tracker loader and here i just set my tracker loader to set decode decoder part it's going to be a decoder part if you don't know what to write that then uh, I don't know you should enroll in my 3js course because I just you know I just explain all the things in those uh, 3js course just feel free to enroll that and here and I'm, I'm going to be selecting my draco path and now I'll just create a GLDF loader over here and make sure you're, you're not using the same thing as this okay just feel free to uh, change this thing so just uh, change this to lowercase and here we go now I just create a new GLDF loader and here I'll just set my tracker loader over here GLDF loader dot set tracker loader you know we're gonna be selecting our tracker loader over here which is this one we'll be selecting that thing tracker loader loading that um, you know we will be loading our 3d model into a scene okay. so using this gltf loader gltf loader dot load let's load that car dot gvn i'm sorry it's glb i guess yeah it's glb just load that thing and you don't need to specify any kind of different path over here that's because we are just using you know it's just in production version so you can just uh, enter as it is which is called a glv okay. and here i'm going to be creating a method over here which is going to be gldf and let me uh, specify that method uh, okay i'll just add this gldf into my scene which is going to be scene dot add gldf dot scene now here if i zoom that out you can literally see the headlights right and we can't see the rest of the body right uh, that's because we didn't have any kind of light in this uh, you know in this scene so let's add the light to add that let me create a variable called you know spotlight it's going to be spotlight and inside this i'm going to be creating a new spotlight Make sure that S is in uppercase because we are using a method over here and here I'm going to be adding some uh, general light color which is going to be a white color because we need that color right and here I'm going to be setting my uh, spotlight position so let's do that by using this and let's set that position uh, some random path I guess so I'll just set that to minus 40 60 and minus 10 here I'll just add that scene to my uh, you know I just add that spotlight to my scene all right now if I zoom that out here you can see 
the 3d model right so that's how you actually do that and we can literally see the shadows over here we can literally see the shadows over here and you know we can play with that light thing in order to make to this level of perfect yeah to this level of perfect we can play with that light thing and we can literally make the exact scene not 3d model but for now i'll just end this up because you know i'll just discussing all those things in the professional 3js course and if you are enrolling that then feel free to do that and the course is still under development so yeah you can enroll that and start learning from today so that's pretty much it that's how you add your own 3d model into your scene and uh, yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video peace